Hey folks, Captain Chris Meyer, Central Florida Site Fishing Charters. And something that I get asked over and over is what is the best lure for redfish? So I'm going to tell you what I think the best lures for redfish are here in Florida. And I'm sure that they'll work on redfish in just about anywhere else you can find them. But I know for sure that these guys work here. So if we start from the top here, up at the top we have a five and a half inch DOA Cal jerkbait and you can see that thing's rigged weedless so it's great for fishing in all kind of situations you don't have to be real fancy with keeping uh, the hook out of the grass and it imitates a needlefish, a mullet, uh, some kind of bait fish and usually using it in a darting side to side manner. Right below that we have the DOA Airhead that's the gold one and again it's uh, very similar to the tail wiggles side to side as you retrieve it. it just has a thicker body profile below that is the DOA shallow running bait buster it's what I use for topwater uh, action most of the time I retrieve this lure right on the surface it has a single hook on top so it keeps it out of the grass we have lots of grass on the surface here most of the year especially in the summer and fall when I'm using this lure the most and so it rides right up over that. You can see how the red part of the chin is angled up so that lure goes right over the grass. Great, awesome topwater bites. Below that is one of my all-time favorites. It's the quarter ounce DOA shrimp. Most of the time for redfish, I am using that thing only as a sight fishing lure. I throw it to fish that I see. I drag it across the surface, let it sink down in their face, and slowly twitch it. Off to the side, we have a uh, more of a blind casting lure if the water's real dirty, if you have heavy cloud cover, um, or if you're just not that great at sight casting and you just want to cover a lot of water, uh, attract a lot of fish, I use the, the uh, spinner bait, put any color soft plastic tail on there, puts out a lot of vibration, a lot of flash, imitates some pinfish, it certainly catches a lot of redfish of all different sizes including very large ones. On the bottom is the lure that if I could only bring one thing all year round it would be these guys right here. One's rigged weedless which uh, I use a lot on my charters isn't my favorite way to do that. The one below that is rigged on a jig head and I either use an eighth or a quarter or sometimes a sixteenth ounce depending on how heavy the wind is blowing and how deep the water is and how spooky the fish are going to be. But that lure I can use in 20 mile an hour winds with a quarter ounce jig head. It casts directly into that wind a long way. I can put it on a light jig head. You can rig it up weedless like that. You can put it in fish that are only in a foot of water on a dead calm day. And the red fish will eat that thing year round. Um, so it's a very versatile lure. I prefer the, the jig head version because I have a hook that's not uh, up against the bait to get a far better hookup ratio than I do when it's rigged weedless but then you have to be able to keep that thing out of the grass until you present it to the fish so there is a little extra bit of skill involved using it on the jig head but those are my favorite uh, lure collection for redfish and this is not about color but these are colors that I use but if you're looking for what a uh, fishing guide and someone who's been fishing for redfish in Florida for over 25 years thinks that the best lures are. This is my collection of lures. See if you have some stuff that matches or similar to these.